Today we're going live to the custom steam shower. You can see here from the top of this reverse shower curve, uh, right down to the bottom of the shower curb. All right. It's all enclosed. Completely enclosed. All right. Now, as we enter into this area, this is almost a four foot by four foot space. Okay. We have three body sprayers on the wall. One. Hey, Miss Danger Ranger. Been a while. How you doing? This is my custom shower. I'm showing. I'm going to be finish finishing. Just about finished. Okay, so I have one, two, three body sprayers. That'll catch your upper back, lower back, and about your thighs, you know, get you nice and rinsed. Then up here, we have, I'm going to have a, oh, about a 15, 12 by 12 or 15 by 15 rain shower up above. The handheld, I custom painted this for the handheld, okay? I will give you a close-up on this right now, best. This is my custom. I painted this. This was just a piece of copper pipe that I soldered together. But look at this custom paint job, if I can get it in there, that I was able to create. Okay? I painted this myself. It's just copper. That's all it is. See, there, there's the copper. Let me get it in the viewer. There's the copper in there. This was all copper. And I gave it this custom bronzed paint job. Okay. And uh, this is a custom pot shelf. I like these really wide faces. Well, keeps buffering. It, that must be your connection right now, Miss Danger or Kalia fan. Because I'm not buffering. But I'm glad you're here. I appreciate you guys being here. Happy Hanukkah. Well, thank you. Merry Christmas. And uh, then up above, you see, I have a few pieces, custom pieces to put in here. Okay. Then I have this few pieces to put here on the wall and then I've got this lower half I have some tile to put in and then right here on this wall I have all this upper section here to do and then this area and this will be complete and so I have a little bit of work AJ 625 AJ 625 you in here Miss Danger Ranger 94 is in here Columbia fan is in here We have AJ 5126 and Columbia fan says, hey, what's up, AJ? Or LAJ, I'm sorry, 5126. Do y'all, do everybody know we just question? So I've got this little piece right here. That was a custom little, I got to clean that up, but that was custom. And uh, doing this is going to be fun and custom. Now I've got my light. This light only comes white. Okay, but I'm going to, but I've taken it and I've sprayed it. I may end up making it more looking like this. 
Okay. I'll probably end up doing my light the same way and giving it the same look here. It's a little too gold. Um, here. Okay. It's a little too gold looking. I think I might need to make it darker. It's normally come white. You can't get them in any other color but white. And that's going to go right here. Okay, so this is actually going to be going here on my ceiling. All right, that's where this is going to go. Now, I'm going to have another light that I have also custom painted. That's going to be right here in this corner of my shower. And uh, as you see, the whole entire ceiling is done. That's why it's a steam shower. It's what makes it a steam shower. It's all enclosed. Okay. And uh, so this has been quite a project. I've had to finish up my other bathroom. Now that it's complete, uh, I can get focused on this and then put in the floor. Because I need to put the floor in. Okay. There's my custom seat right there. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to using it, you know. There's a body sprayer. It's going to be cool. And uh, going to have that light in here. So that'll be nice. You can kick back here on this huge seat. Look how huge. Look how big that seat is, man. You know, you can just sit down and relax. You don't feel like you're going to fall off of it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's what I'm doing now. I'm getting ready. Yes, yeah, because most of them uh, miss danger. A ranger are right here in the corner, you know, and little bitty seat sitting here in a corner. And, you know, it's like you feel you're going to fall off of it. It's just too small. And uh, so I built this, I built this one. It just didn't have anywhere to sit when I started um, before I remodeled it. It had an older style tile, like from the 70s. Nicely done, but just old, you know. So we were updating it. And since we were updating it, I added the body sprayers. And then over here in this corner right here, this is where the handheld's going to go. This piece that I've made, that's where that's going to be. Okay. And... Uh, you know, then you can sit here and, you know, you'll have the handheld over here on the wall. You can see your wife can shave her legs and rinse them off. And, you know, it'd be cool. It'd be just nice. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. And then with the big bot, then with the big rain shower overhead, you know, I still have room to kind of stand back out of the way because that's a problem with the rain shower is how you get out of the water, <laughs> you know, to soap up. But um, this is big enough. Even though it's a big rain shower, there's still room in here to step back out of the way. But uh, you just turn off the water, you know. But um, nonetheless, I thought I'd do an update on this. I'm going to flip this screen around. All right. Now I'm going to go here, turn this around. Here we go. Well, thank you, Miss Ranger. Trying to turn the screen around. Here we go. Now, now I can. Um, power. Um, I was doing some videos a few months ago. It doesn't take to do a job like this. If you know what you're doing, and you're all the way down to the two by fours. It could take you, if you're learning, it could take you three weeks. It could take you two weeks. It depends on how many hours a day you spend. Um, if you have all your material. Um, do you already know how to cut tile? Is it something you're going to be learning? Um, so it could take you several months. It could take you, like I said, two weeks, three weeks. 
It just depends on what kind of skills you already have, what you already know about tiling. Yes, now I will, okay, ceiling behind it. I'll tell you what I did, okay? I tore all this out, all the way down to the studs. This had the old, um, old school floated walls with the concrete floated out. Then the tile went on top of that. And so the studs did not have to be leveled out, shimmed up, nothing, because the concrete makes up the difference. Um, so I had to level out the two by fours. Um, I, I had, they were like three quarters out at the top, down to like eighth of an inch at the very bottom. So I had to take a two by four, go from three quarters of an inch at the top of the two by four down to a quarter inch at the bottom and rip all the way the full length of that two by four and then nail it or screw it into the face of the two by four here in the wall. Um, and then I took a straight edge, like a three foot straight edge. It's a little short of four feet across. It takes patience, yes. Yes, it tried me big time. It's definitely a challenge because I don't do, I, I can now do tile. Um, but I don't like it. <laughs> but it's been a learning curve. Um, I do finish carpentry. I do custom staircases. Um, the ones that kind of turn and go up. So that gave me the knowledge and the understanding of what to do and uh, in cutting the tile, it helped me figure that out. Um, so I, I got the walls leveled. You can also put a two by four in there and kind of slide it along the side of the two by four and then nail it. Once it comes out and you took your, your straight edge, your level and Make sure all the two by fours are the same, you know, in line so you don't have any out of, out of wax. So they all end up flush. Um, and then you put on your concrete backer board. Then once you do all your concrete backer board in here, kind of like drywall, but it's concrete, it's harder to work with. You drill holes, at least I pre-drilled. I still use the self-tapping screws that come with it. And there's screws just for this concrete backer board. And they don't rust. So you want to get special screws for that. Um, and then you get either red guard or you can use mapies. It's a rubber. And you take a, a roller and you roll it on. You can use a paintbrush too. I'm um, in the corners. You seal the corners. You can cock the corners or use 100% silicone in the corners. And you can even put a, oh, it's a tape like that goes in the corner, a heavy um, anti or non, it, it resists acids and that from the concrete. And you put that, that in the corner and then you take your Maybard, which is a liquid rubber and you paint them, paint your corners, go over them like three times, let it dry, go over it again, let it dry, heavy, heavy coats in the corner of the third time, and then go over your walls all the way around um, with your roller. And you want to do that two, three coats as well. And and your floor, that, that's what's green in here. Whoops, that's what's green, that's what you're seeing. Yes, these are 18 by 18 tiles. Let's see if I can show you here. I'm going to turn the screen around so you can see the tile better. All right, there is one tile it goes from here. There's the bottom. And there's the top. I'll point to the here. Here's the top. The bottom, that's 18. The same by 18. Okay, you can't really see the joints in this. That's why I was pointing it out. There, there's a joint there. 
And can you see this joint? That yeah, vaguely. You can barely see this joint right here. Anyways, they're 18 by 18s. Um, but after you do the concrete board, you you want to put that uh, hit. It's a heavy duty gray um, nylon plastic coated. Start out. What you do is like right the ledger. Right here, all right? So a two by four went right across here and you get it level. You get it screwed in on one end, you level up on the other side, you screw it in, and then when you get it level, it's level all the way across. Well, you can, this will be level and every, every single one of these will be level all the way up, okay? That's why if you, here you can see the joint, see how thin that is? And we go up here to the next joint, you can see it's thin, all right? And up here, uh, there you go, there's that joint right there, all right? So this was level, okay? But you have to get your ledger board level right here that goes all the way across this, all right? At the, and then the next tile comes up, oh, about here, went on the floor. It's going to go from the floor up to about right here. Just can fit it here. Um, but what you want to do is you come up off the floor. Hey, Nathan, how's it going? You want to come up off the floor about, oh, quarter of an inch when you install it. That way you got a nice tight joint here. And if the, floats, if the floor is off a little bit, that quarter of an inch at the bottom gap, Gives you adjustment for the differences in the floor. And um, then you put down your thin set on the floor and do your, your floor tile. Now I'm going to have rock. I've got this river rock that I'm going to use floor. That'll look really nice. I'll show you that river rock. I'm going to get this river rock so you get an idea. You may already know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to show you. This river rock's really nice. Okay. So here's the river rock. All right. So this is going to go down here on the floor. This stuff right here. It's got plastic on it so you can't see it all that well. But see, this is going to look nice down here. Okay, maybe I put up against the wall in the light. There you go. That's what it's going to look like. Okay. And then the grout goes in between and all these spaces between the rock. You feel full of grout. Okay. So you can see per square. That's one square foot. It's 12 by 12. And uh, that's going to look sharp when it's all in. And uh, I look forward to doing that. Hey, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, guys. I always appreciate the thumbs up. That also helps the algorithms in here on the thumbs up. Yeah, it's lots of work, but the finished product is going to be great. I mean... I've got the body shower. I got three uh, body sprayers, two, three. Okay. So it's going to be sharp. It's going to look really nice. Then I've got my light. You know, it's going to, it's up here. You can barely see it in this particular angle. All right. There, there's there's the, going to be the light. So there'll be a light in here. I also have two controls for the water. Okay. And have two controls. All right, because I've got so much going on in here. I have to have two valves. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Now, I'm getting ready to come back. Thanks for the lot. I'm going to shout out for about three or four people. And I'm going to be... Um, Mimicking each person that I am going to do a shout out for. 
So each person's going to get, I'm going to act like the person I'm representing, like, like I'm giving a shout out for. And uh, Nathan, you're one of them. And that's when I come back. I'm going to come back on a live stream where I'm going to be doing a shout out for three, four people. And I'm going to be doing a mimic. Hey, Miss Danger Ranger. It, it'll be fun. <laughs> I'll be I'll be mimic yet yeah, tonight. When I when I end this live stream, in about five minutes, roughly after that, I'll be coming back on. And I'm gonna be Nathan's gonna be one of them. And um, there'll be some others. There'll be like three others that have really made a difference for me in my in my as being on my channel. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. And, uh, you know, when I mention your name, Miss Danger Ranger 94, that's a shout out, you know. So if you haven't been to Miss Danger Ranger's channel, 94, Miss Danger Ranger 94, that is, go check her out and give her some encouragement. Same thing with Nathan Likes Drums and same thing with... LAJ5126. Who else is over here? Thought there was someone else. I guess that's that's good. That's pretty good as it is. All right. He's on here, or I think he's still here. He may not be. Maybe. Um, I'm going to be one, you know, Nathan and a couple of guys. So it'll be fun live stream in about five minutes i'll be going live i'll be coming back and uh i'll be doing this i'll be doing this I'll, I'll be doing this it'll be fun all right so thanks for being here don't forget to hit the thumbs up i'll be going i'm gonna shout out and uh different characters all together everybody's got their own style their own personality you know so it's gonna be fun to do that and uh, well, I hope to see you there. Thank you very much, Miss Danger, Miss Danger Ranger, nine to four. Williams over here, appreciate you and over there. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, thank you, Miss Danger Ranger, ninety four. And uh, there's you, and I don't know if it's Nathan or if it's or if it's L A J fifty one twenty six. It's on here. There's two of you on here. That I can see. <laughs> It'll be funny. It'll be fun. Um, so I'm look forward to seeing you guys there. And that's a good way to do it. See, that's your style. That, that's a good way to do it. Um, later than yeah, about five ten minutes from now, I'll be coming back. Uh, L A J fifty one twenty six. And uh, I'll be representing, I'll be giving some shout outs to some people that really helped my channel, helped me personally. And uh, it'll be fun, you know. And uh, hey, I see there's, hey, Nathan, I'm going to do a shout out for some people that's helped me on my channel tonight. I'm going to act like them. I'm going to represent them. And uh, I'll be doing that in about five or ten minutes. Okay, and you're one of them, Nathan. So, so, so you're in for a surprise. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for being here, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the other side. All right, because we're coming to you from beautiful downtown California. As I got blurred out. It'll be fun. All right, Nathan. All right, everybody. If you don't know each other, make friends. It's a community of friends. And remember, united we stand, and united we're making it happen. And we're just keeping it real. You can't hurt my feelings. All right. Okay, we'll see ya. Bye. Ever see y'all later now, yeah? No, y'all come back now, yeah? <laughs>